So I've not filmed too much over the last couple of weeks. I've been concentrating mainly on the trailer, uh, which is uh, not very exciting to video. Basically, we lifted the boat and pulled the trailer out from underneath. And we've have made up two new axles, uh, all new brake cables, etc. Original suspension units because they're still fine. Some, uh, some new mud guards and fittings. So all nice and sturdy again. Boat back on the trailer, now we can get on with reassembly basically. Uh, made a start on some of the smaller fittings and bits and pieces. And uh, today we'll get on with the rub rail and possibly have a look at the windscreen. So as you'll probably see, I stopped recording that. Um, that didn't go quite as I planned. What an absolute pain that was. So rub rail's all on now anyway. Uh, I uh, still need to sort out a couple of end caps just to uh, finish the back corners. They're hopefully on their way. So next up, we'll uh, tackle the windscreen. Get that back on and uh, looking a bit more like it should do. screen back in place it's the original screen from 1979 so it's a, a bit of a rarity now um, I'd like to do the seal on the bottom slightly differently we did put a foam strip behind it to uh, try and soften it against the body a little bit but it was just too much uh, depth there so we've taken the seal off um, so I'd like to do something definitely with this edge here um, but I think the screen's a bit too fragile to pull it around too much so um, yeah so we've got a few fittings on there just to hold it in place and I can now get it uh, cleaned and polished up and get the rest of the fixings in
Okay, that's the interior back in on the hull. Uh, still need to get a couple of screws for the windscreen brace and sort out the compass. And still need to repair the bases on the seat. The foam's all good, the wood's actually good. Um, it's the staples um, and the threads that have actually gone. So I just need to set the uh, sewing machine up for that. So we'll come to that on another day. So uh, next step is the engine and starting out with the car presses.